Why, hello there, my name is Freckress, and welcome back to Let's Play Back to the Future of the Game. We gotta do some slidey things. Not sure, like, what I'm supposed to do exactly. But I was hoping... I was hoping that you knew. No, um... Let's see. This is where they went, I thought. So, I mean... I guess. Wait. Hold up. Okay. Okay, so it wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. He's not gonna... What's he doing? Does this smell like chloroform to you? Ugh. Yep. <laughs> Damn it. We're, we're not gonna actually talk about it, we're just gonna shake our head in disbelief. Uh. I don't think that worked. Oh well. Someone's just hitting their their old metal office desk. Uh, why'd you turn back and look at me? Well, that was weird. I didn't hit anything. It. Just did its thing on its own. Why did he you fall down? Now, Doc. Greetings again, mortals. This is Techni, Muse of Progress. Hoping you're all having a swell time taking in all the exhibits. Don't forget, you can purchase tickets to our main attractions right here at the information booth. <laughs> okay, so Jacusto, Ja Du Du To did a floppy thing. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for a tall, thin, older gentleman. He might have been with a tall, thin, younger gentleman. I know just who you're talking about. <laughs> I just left about a minute ago. So he's in the bath sphere. you hurry, you might catch that. He's Count, uh, Count Dracula? I know who you are. I know you're in there, Doc. Doc? Yes, I am a doctor of marine biology, but I fail to understand what you are. Quit fooling around, Doc. What have you done with them? Stop! Emma? Help! I'm being attacked! Harry! What are you doing? You can't assault the exhibitors. You don't understand. He's kidnapped Emmett. The boys obviously are confusing them. Confuse I'll it. say he is. You want I should toss him out on his ear? That won't be necessary. Do you know who that is? That's Jacques Duteau of the Oceanic Institute. No, it's not. Oh, it's not. It's... Please, keep it down. The expo went through a lot of trouble and expense to secure Professor Duteau. We can't afford to antagonize him. But if you've got a complaint against him, we can straighten it out after the show. But if you make another scene like that, I'm afraid I'm going to have you expelled from the hall. Hmm. Where did you stash Emmett? In the diving bell? It's called a bathosphere. Aha! So Emmett is in the bathosphere. I don't know what you're talking about. I think I'm gonna take a closer look at that bathosphere. Not without a ticket, I'm afraid, sir. Hey! Is this guy trying to bum a free ride? No. See that you don't. Feels good to be on the right side of the law. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna get away with this, you know. As they say in my country, que sera, sera. Uh. Here's my ticket. I want to see inside that bathosphere. I don't think so. 
What do you mean? I've got a ticket. You have to honor my ticket. It's uh, uh, the, the, the wrong kind of ticket. Sorry. Oh, give me a break. Okay. So. <laughs> Doc. <laughs> it just doesn't even lie to me anymore. That's good, at least. I ought to just go raise the bathysphere myself. I don't think so. Is this punk giving you trouble, Mr. Duto? Would you go mm -hmm. away? Jesus. Nobody asked you. I've got to get Emmett out of there before it's time for his demo. Hmm. That looks like the air hose for the bathysphere. Why do we keep pointing it out and not actually doing anything with it? Hmm. I don't think I can use it with anything. Just use it with Doc. <laughs> Alright, uh... Let's go somewhere else for now. Maybe, I'll just get stuck on every single section here. Theremin booth. Hostile guy. What do you get there, hostile guy? An algae king? Sure thing, mister! Wait a minute, you're the guy that makes the algae cakes? But I thought you couldn't stand them! Hey! You're the guy that tried to pick up on my Eunice! Oh, for the love of... No algae cakes for you, buster! Why has he got a different... different voice? Uh... What's the sign say? Experience oh. the wonder of the continuo phone. Well, it's already got me wondering how the heck to pronounce it. Okay, so I can't really mess with the theremin. Can I? Not personally. <laughs> well, that was silly. Okay, uh... Hi, Trixie. Now what can I do you for? See that bathysphere? Emmett's inside that bathysphere. That's nice. Nice? He's a captive. Of Jacques Duteau? Not of quite. Carl Sagan. Uh, I think I've got what you need. The Hill Valley Expo may prove overwhelming <laughs> to those of a delicate disposition. If you are feeling confused or disoriented, try these simple steps. One, put your head between your knees. Never mind. Uh, thanks anyway. Thanks. Hmm. Probably can't do anything. He's, He's hey, coming. Danny, could I have a word with you? Comrade Schmirnoff, come to turn yourself in? In private? With pleasure. <laughs> okay. Um. I've got some dirt on Edna. I don't have any dirt on Edna. You haven't seen Carl Sagan around here, have you? Nah. Isn't he still a wanted man? Nah. All those arson <laughs> nah. charges got dropped weeks ago. Judge Brown said there wasn't enough evidence for a trial. Hmm. I found Emmett. Great. Now maybe we can get to the bottom of all of this. Where is he? Carl Sagan's kidnapped him and dumped him in the bathysphere. What? Listen, Harry, or Yakov, or whatever your name is. Marty. I like you, and I may even owe you one or two. But you're not helping anything by making up crazy stories like a certain crazy lady reporter I could mention. But... If you want to help Emmett, get him over here and get Edna off my back. Hmm. Thanks. I'll be back. Well, I hope so. You've got to get this albatross off my neck. Well, did you put the screws to him? Did he confess? Huh. Just hop the <laughs> hop the steps. <sighs> hey, Artie. What do you think? Quite a setup, huh? The expo? 
Sure, but I was wondering. This ticket should get me into any exhibit on the floor, right? Sure, that's a pee ticket. You're a well, pee the ticket. Well, the aquarium is refusing to honor it. Hmm, there must be some mistake. Come on, let's straighten this out. Professor Duteau, this young man claims you refuse to take his ticket. Not at all. I am only too happy to take his ticket. Please, climb the ladder, and I will raise the bathroom's fee. Mon Dieu, what is the matter? The gears, they must have become stuck. I am afraid I cannot raise the bathosphere at this moment. What a shame. Yes, it is, it is, it is. Well, I will work on the problem. Perhaps if you come back later. Hmm. Next up on our roster, a man who saw the possibilities in pond scum. Welcome, Ernest Philpot. Ernie. That's why he's there. The master's field is currently closed for repairs. Like the lady said, I labor in the field of pawn scum. Algae, ladies and gentlemen, is a mysterious and little-known biological entity. Step back! You're cutting experimentation, I believe I have unlocked the What does it matter if there's nobody in the bathosphere? <laughs> oh, sorry. Algae cakes, ladies and gentlemen, is the next Hmm. It's an old agricultural revolution of the 20th century. Algae is just a helpful property. It does if there's somebody inside the bathosphere, but I thought you said there wasn't anybody in the bathosphere. But there's now people haven't been given the benefit of all this nutrition on account of the less than appetizing nature of the algae herself. I command you on print that horse! Funny, you'd think it was you who was running out of air, not the guy in the bathosphere. Hmm. I don't know who, who was yours talking about! I don't know why the audio is popping so much. Somehow. I wanted you to come by my booth, that's booth A113 here in the main hall, and sell an algae cake Raise the bathosphere. Yeah. Thank you, Ernest. Do be sure to drop by his booth and sample an algae cake. Or not. I have, and it was very interesting. I will be back later to highlight another of our fine exhibitors. See you soon. There's like nobody there, but they're still clapping. He's running out of air, Doc, and you're running out of time. Let him out. I won't do it. Am I supposed to be doing anything else? Hey. I'm just gonna keep holding this air tube closed until you raise the bathosphere. I wish you wouldn't. I know. Well, I know. But I don't care. There's nobody in the bathosphere, right? You ready to drop the act now, Jacques Duteau, aka Carl Sagan, aka? No. No. Damn it! Gets nowhere until you raise the bathosphere. <sighs> Emmett? Who? Emmett, you. Hmm. You know what happens when the air runs out to both of you. Hmm. So for all, the years, they have become unstuck. What a miracle. There, see? It was just a malfunction after all. Yay. I need it. Let's get you out of there. Huh? Emmett Brown? Then it was true. <laughs> oh, he's hey, gone. <laughs> you. Hey, he just took that guy's wallet. <laughs> I think he took his wallet. Oh, That's from a deleted scene. I guess I must have a touch of claustrophobia. 
Never should have gone in there. Well, we've all got problems. Now, you'd better get back to your booth Funny before thing this. Is, I don't even remember going in Actually, there. Actually, no. They, they added it I into the second I was in one. I was talking to Carl Sagan. But Did the reason they added really it in the second one is because it was a deleted scene in the first one. What did he I say think. to you? Oh, yeah, it's been a while. Some sort of spur of the moment business proposition. It's been a whole week. <laughs> it was all very rush rush. I never got the details. <laughs> all very rush rush. Leaving before the expo was over. Not hush so hush. I told him, a, say, where did he go? You know, Carl Sagan. He had to leave. One of his experiments blew up on him. No, oh, I know how that is. What's this? Oh, yeah. Edna made Detective Parker shut down your booth. He says he can't go against her. Oh, yeah? Unless we dig up some dirt that'll discredit her in the eyes of the law. Or you could just so go confront her, I guess. what we'll do. Stop Edna from interfering with Emmett's demonstration. Okay. How do I do that? Oh. Hello, Shmirnoff. Hey, Emmett, mind if I talk to your ex for a minute? Could you? The detective and I need to have a rational conversation about my invention. <laughs> Are you implying that I'm irrational? Yes. Come on, Edna. <sighs> have you seen Mr. Sagan around here anywhere? No, and I wouldn't tell you if I had. He's more than a little scared of your anarchistic tendencies. Why is Parker so willing to do your bidding? <laughs> well, the good detective knows that he owes his current rise through the ranks to my reporting on his behalf. Oh. He also knows that I could just as easily pen an expose about his previous nights of drunken debauchery and evidence tampering. You're blackmailing him? Reporters don't blackmail, Mr. Schmirnoff. We look out for the public interest. Hmm, that's blackmail. But anyway. Why are you still involved in Emmett's life? I thought you broke up with him. I did, but then your friend Mr. Sagan told me about your scheme to interfere with our romance. Not a very nice thing to do, Comrade Schmirnoff. Why'd you go and get Emmett's invention sealed up like that? I had no choice. Once Mr. Sagan told me about your attempts to radicalize my poor Emmett, I knew I had to stop him from going through with your dangerous invention. But it's his invention, and it's not dangerous. Okay, maybe it's a little dangerous, but only to him. And some of that's the for the authorities people. to decide. Bystanders, that's what I meant to say. That's not gonna work. Any chance you could talk Parker into letting Emmett go ahead with his demonstration? None whatsoever. And as long as I'm here, that contraption of yours is grounded. I've got the goods on you. I know. I, you <laughs> bluff deep, plus dark one. Secret. Secret? What secret? You do have one. You're a thief. You've been working for Kid. What you are whispering with Carl rhymes with witch. Um, I don't know. Pretending like you wanted to put Kid Tannen away when all the time you were working for him. Oh, how preposterous. Well, I mean, she was delivering for the food kit or soup kitchen. Okay, um, I don't really I know. I haven't got time for this. That's funny. Soon Emmett and I will have all the time in the world. Ugh. Oh. Hello. Do you know what she made him do? Y yeah, come here. Edna made Parker close your booth down. I know that. So he'll only open it up again if we could find a way to discredit her. Do you know anything that'll ruin Edna's standing in town? Yes, I do. She is a rotten kisser! Oh! That's not gonna that do wasn't anything. That what I had in mind. Edna never confessed anything to you, did she? Like what? Something incriminating. Like, for instance, her being the speakeasy arsonist. Edna, the speakeasy arsonist? Then again, why not? <laughs> she never said anything about it to you? No. 
Listen, if Carl Sagan shows up again, you're not gonna let him lead you away, are you? Are you kidding? My sole concern now is to get back up to my electrokinetic levitator. Good man. Assuming we get Parker to open your booth back up before they call your name, is the levitator ready to go? I'll accept the power source. You did bring the static accumulator, didn't you? Yeah, I've got it. You want it now? No. Wait till we get back to the booth. Okay. I gotta <sighs> run. Did you talk some sense into those two? Oh, a Sisyphean task if ever there was one. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. What do I need? What do I need? Hmm. I guess I'm gonna try and figure out what I need to do in the next episode, because I've run out of time. So thank you very much for joining me. Check out annotations for other videos that I've done. Like, subscribe, comment, and all the other fun stuff on YouTube's down there. Hopefully I'll see you in my next video, and my freckly face is out of here. Bye! Take a photo! Am I going crazy? Oh, but that'd make an awesome photo. Take it. Take it kids not knowing what art is they hit it in the face oh. okay just dust <laughs> R. Machikowski my good I don't know how to say that it went by too fast but I don't appreciate that you you just chill the fuck out right there